So we're at a baby food the other day, and the wife Shoot. sends me down to the grocery store to get more, right? Yeah. That stuff costs an arm and a leg. It's... Oh, I mean, why are you killing gross. me here? Gross. Just oh, mashed Whose yams? arm? Who, whose arm and whose leg? What? How much did it cost? Like, 580 a jar. Oh. It's nuts. Anyways, Jerry, I gotta go. Yeah. Good chat. Whose arm? Who's... Jerry. Did you get the price on that last uh, shipment? Yeah, it's a lot. It's probably like five eighty. Five hundred and eighty dollars? No, no, like it's like five eighty. Like who approved that? Like your arms are five eighty. I don't no, like, know what you're saying. No, I'm, like, I'm gonna just talk to Tina. No, 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 like your your legs, your arms and legs. Frick. So he says that, and everyone in accounting just <laughs> silent, right? It's just <laughs> so I look at him and I say, "Look, buddy, it takes one to know one, all right?" Oh, <laughs> oh man, you should have seen the look oh, on his. Uh, it takes one to know one. It takes just, one. Uh, I kill myself sometimes. It takes Anyways, one. Jerry, I gotta go. Good chat. Talk to you later. Yeah, it takes one. It knows one. Did you uh, did you get that memo from Frank yet? <laughs> well, you take one from him, and you know it. What are, you, what are you saying? Takes takes him to know it. Takes him. Did you get the memo? Yeah, or no, I got the memo. Yeah. Good. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. Okay. You know what they say, Fabian? A wash pot never boils. You know, Terry, some people just can't help adding insult to injury. He's barking up the wrong tree, Bart. He's <laughs> barking up the wrong tree. Oh, man. It is raining cats and dogs out there. Never forget, Marcio. Actions speak louder than words. I told him, you gotta quit peeking around the bush. I mean, just... Yeah, no, just, uh, chewing the fat here with Pierce. I tell you, Phil, I just really bit off more than I could chew that time. That's what she said. We're gonna have to burn the midnight oil tonight, Clarence. There are a dime a dozen, Jerry! A dime a dozen! <laughs> Tina knew that was my thing, right? Yeah, she knew, and yeah. she just let the cat out of the bag, and it really stole my thunder. Oh, it just grinds my gears, and... Uh... You know what, Tyler? I'm gonna give her a piece of my mind. So I just drummed up a bush and, and hit it with a stick. Hmm? So I grabbed that thundercat by the scruff, and I said, Get your gears out my brain! Excuse me? You know, so I told him, looks like you're barking trees. What? Yeah, and the hour passed 12 and the fuel's gone. What are you talking about? Oh, and there's a fat guy in the corner and he's got a big trunk. <laughs> oh, it's rain on a dog. What dog? Yeah, so I knelt down and turned a circle to a square. So I started choking on my bite. Choking on it right there. You know, there's more in my mouth. So I looked at that street and said, hey, you're looking fine today. Hit on that road. Yeah, every, every single week, me and Phil sitting here, just spoon feeding the lard into the, into, uh, yeah, now that he's gone, he's shoveling up them roses. What? At that point, there was peas all over the floor. <laughs> what? She knew now, so, oh, there's peas on the floor. There's peas, and she knows the, the secret. I spilled the peas. Are you trying to say you spilled the beans? Yes! Yes! That's it! You got it! You got it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank no, no, you. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs>